bed slippers and screamed, Trim that brush! And our neighbors! He even fashioned a shrub into a kangaroo with a pouch, and he sleeps inside it some nights. Oh, he's freaking out on Bush. He needs help. Please, you've got to help me. I hate hedges. Well, the Romans love topiary, and look at their contributions to society. But as they say, if the grass is greener in the other fella's yard, then you bang his college son when the dad's out of town. Okay, next caller. Whoops. Hold on a second, I'm blossoming. There we go, all done. My name's Henry. I want... Are you blossoming? I, uh, I guess I am. I've really come into my own in the past few months since I joined a cult and began tithing money in exchange for spiritual happiness and letting everyone take turns on my wife. Anyway, I have a lovely garden, mostly carnivorous plants. A Venus flytrap reminds me of my mother. She's in prison now. Anyway, it's so fascinating how it catches animals and eats them. I started with flies, and now mine can swallow a whole squirrel. Or a small horse if I chop it in half first. You, dude. CJ. anymore if the fascists in the state government have anything to say about it with that damn proposition 421. Tobacco is a plant, people. And, and, and if it comes out of the ground, we should be able to smoke it like coal and opium. Next call. Yeah, I got a question. Why is everybody on the radio named Maurice? God, I pray to the great gardener in the sky that you've been fixed. I hope they snipped your nuts off because spreading your seed could be a disaster. Do you, do you have a question? A question? God, so many vegetables on this show. Tards. Yeah, they got... using the wood to fashion rocking horses and, and suggestive whirly gigs. Okay, we're running out of time, literally. But again, like a seed sown in a hurricane or a mushroom oh, spore from outer space. You know about that. Marty goes on. I'm Maury. I'm Dr. Phillips, and I'm a liberal. Get to a 10-step program, That's Lance. 12 steps. Yeah, you only deserve 10. I'm also Dr. Phillips, and I'm conservative. Today on the show, is it okay to talk to people we were at... Or with once? And the skyrocketing price of buying off a politician. And we talk to people hey, without health care who are genuinely happy not to be burdened with it. It's political debate and discussion from the right and the wrong side of the track. Let's go to the phones before right wing anger engulfs my wife. Who's on the line?
to be president at work. They're the best liars. They do it professionally. Yeah, well, so do all politicians. Next caller. Yeah, I want to have a deportation. Yes, that is a shame what they're doing to the thick, beautiful redwoods north of San Fierro. I was talking about women, but you're right, San Fierro is half the problem. It ain't natural and it's un-American. Look, infatuation and disillusionment is the American way, but it works. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno is the exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited, like factory workers. Others want to be degraded. I mean really, really degraded. Like a... Hey, be quiet, be quiet. Come on, you bunch of wankers. This is unbearable. Shut up. Hey, Officers Eddie Pulaski and Frank Tenpenny 
both hard-working members of a community policing unit, have been charged with racketeering, corruption, narcotics, and sexual assault. They brought it on themselves. That bastard cost me my farm. And he hogged the bar. ...fellow officer Ralph Pendlebury, who had threatened to turn state's evidence, and who was then found shot dead in a supposedly unrelated gang incident. I say 20 years. Airport. Try five years. Trial, Cops always get off easy. Yeah, I heard that. Lost evidence, retracted witness statements, and now the disappearance of fellow officer Jimmy Hernandez and officer Pulaski himself, believed to be on the run. Oh, wait. They're exiting the courtroom now. That bastard Pulaski will probably turn listen, up listen, dead listen. just like the rest of them. In light of the lack of evidence against my client, the district attorney's office has seen fit to drop all charges what? against this innocent man. That's bullshit. You see, you can't trust the system, man. This surprise decision is wholly unprecedented. Oh, man, ain't no justice. It's just us. I know. I've been arrested numerous times for totally natural behavior. While Santos will burn tonight. Ain't nobody gonna be riding in my hood. I don't know about that, Holmes. Look, the whole city is going up. People are fucking pissed off about this. People don't know what they want. We all being you. You see, man, it's always the same, friend. Power systems corrupt everyone. Look, I said we gonna secure the hood. We ain't getting shit together so some idiot can burn it down. Shit's real fucked up, man. Yeah, but we gonna handle this ourselves. Justice, man. How does scum like Ten Penny stay on the streets? Man, I don't know. Just the way shit stacked, I guess. Man, this is fucked up. We should take that bastard down on ourselves. We will, sweet. So who's the weird prick? What? Oh, Macker. He got a little problem he can't control. What kind of problem? He can't stop, you know, giving himself a little bit. What, you mean he likes to consult Professor Hans Jerkoff? <laughs> yeah, regular. Spank the monkey? Yeah. Like, Take Pomula out? Quit it. <laughs> Burp the worm? Enough, man. Wait up with my shot. Shit, look at this place. Even old ladies robbing shit. I guess it's better than staying home and watching the shopping channel. Yeah, go out there and get yourself a party. Shit, man. People real mad. Ten penny responsible for all of this. As if the ghetto ain't wrecked enough. Come tomorrow, most deceptions gonna have new TVs. Look at them like angry kids or some shit. They just tear. I'm gonna gather up some homies and get the hood locked down. You need anything, give me a call. I'm gonna check out the city and see what I can see. You be careful out there, CJ. 